Guten Morgen, Sylvia. Hi, morning. Together we will look at the change in total water storage throughout the Danube Basin uh, through time using uh, data derived from the GRACE satellites. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, could you open the link that I shared with you and will also be available in the yes. video description? This will take us to a script on Google Earth Engine. Mm -hmm. Opening with my account. Looks good. Here it is. Yeah, drag this a little bit down. Perfect. Oh, it's populating. <laughs> yeah, so this is showing um, where the so the gray satellites show the change in total water storage through time, and this is calculated by three different centers. So this map mm -hmm. is showing where these three centers agree, disagree, and whether showing increases or, or decreases. But we won't focus on this map for now. We'll focus on this time series that's coming up on the right. Mm -hmm. You've prepared a shape file for the Danube Basin. Yes, I Let's did. Let's upload this into Google Earth Engine. So towards the left, okay. you see the options scripts, docs, and assets. Yes. And click on assets. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then click new. new. Uh, which shape file do we need? The we'll S upload four of them, actually. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, and then let's okay. click, perfect, click shape file. So, uh, I think it was here. Uh, yeah. Either here or there. Let me search. This one, yes. Okay. Let's upload the SHP file. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Select this one, the PRJ file, mm -hmm. the DBF file and the SHX file towards the bottom. Yeah. The last one. Okay. This, sh this should be fine. Mm -hmm. Name Daniel okay. Payson looks good. Yeah, okay, good. Upload. Towards the right, you'll see this yellow option uh, tasks. We can click this to see the progress of it. So it's still okay. uploading. Should take less than one minute. Or it is so far processing just less than a minute. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Minute. <laughs> I was hoping the first one. It should it should be uh, finished shortly, I believe. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Yeah, we see, yeah. Try clicking on docs in the left and then clicking again on assets. And clicking the refresh button. Ah. Okay, perfect. I think. Actually, yeah, yeah great <laughs> time. Okay. Um, can you um, press the down arrow right near where you are and scroll down slightly? Uh, click view asset. And, okay, we'll see an image of it on the left. Oh, it looks perfect. Mm -hmm. um, can you select import towards the top right of this white menu? Yeah. Okay, this imported into... Into the script. 
into the script. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Now just to, so the script is referring to a variable called region. Mm -hmm. We're going to delete the variable pointing to the Bima Basin and we're going to rename table region. So we can just delete this line. Uh, it, towards the very left, you'll see a little trash can button just beside uh, this. Yeah? Okay. It's not possible to edit inside. Mm. Somehow the variable names update if you change region, so it's somehow easier to do it this way. But there are many options. Mm -hmm. Um, and now instead of table, let's call it region. Great. And um, let's click run. Um, great. And then we can open up uh, the console, so the yellow highlighted option towards the right. Yeah, perfect. Pull this to the left even more. You know, this this looks like the already. It's it's very fast. Uh, to look at it more precisely, we can click that um, pop out window button towards the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now this is the signal from the gray satellites showing total water storage across the Danube Basin. Mm -hmm. So what this does is relative to a period so it given the average total water storage over the danube basin between 2004 and 2010 given this average mass of water over the danube basin this is the signal for the change relative to that average during that that block of years okay so just looking at it we see no obvious uh, incline or declining trend. Um, maybe we can go to download CSV mm -hmm. just so we can look at this as an, in an Excel file. And then we'll use this, uh, download the CSV. I guess the SVG might be a shame. Oh, maybe CSV, image. sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we open this in Excel? So then what we'll do next time is compare this with the results we're getting from the hydrological model, community mm -hmm. water model, C1M. Right. Okay. Oops. Cool. You uh, okay. extracted satellite data, remote sensing observations for the Danube Basin. Awesome work. <laughs> Thank you. And what does it mean, CRS yeah. uh, or so there are, GFZ? So from the satellites, there are three centers that compute uh, what this would mean in terms of change in water storage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you go back to... It's like a replicate of... The observations or like like derivatives of the observations mm -hmm. um maybe we can go back to google earth engine was it here yes yeah perfect and can you just copy where it says nasa nasa slash grace slash mass grid slash land yeah just copy this and let's copy this and just paste this into another uh, window or another tab and this will open up yeah, just search for this and then open up the first link so this is a description on the oh actually this this is also fine but I wanted to go to the one on Google Earth Engine maybe go back and see if another search is possible this also has great information on it search down somewhat yeah this this one this one yeah it's a nice description. Let's scroll down slightly. Yeah, okay, so the data set is produced by three centers, CSR in Texas, GFZ in Germany, and JPL uh, at NASA. So these are the, so in this case, they generally agree with each other, um, but in another video where we looked at it over Saudi Arabia, there were examples of, of of moments in time when the three centers didn't necessarily agree with one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's, I guess, less of a concern for the Danube Basin. Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> then, uh, till next time, Sylvia. Okay. okay. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.